we have three products, product A, product C, product B, they go through three stations. Product A goes through station one, then it goes through station two, then it will leave. Product B goes through station one, then station three, and then leave. Product C goes through all three stations and then what comes in is equal to what goes out. If I know the volume of production, I can compute throughput at each station. If I know inventory at each station, then I can use inventory and throughput and compute flow time. And if I know the total throughput of the total system, what is coming in is equal to what is going on. And if I know the total inventory inside the system, then I can compute the total flow time for the system. Let's go to work. The total volume of production is 200 product per hour. 200 products per hour. 70 of them are product A, 50 product B, and the rest is product C which is 80. So we have a 200 flow per hour through this system. It is like a river. 200 comes in, goes through different directions, and 200 goes out. That is throughput, 200 per hour. Let's go through them one by one. 70A, 70A, and 70A. 50, B, 50, B, and 50, B. 80, C, and 80, C, and 80, C, and 80, C. 200 comes in and 200 goes out. Here, I have 200. Here, 70 plus 80, 150. Here, 80 plus 50, 130. And then we have some inventory. Total inventory inside the system is 170, 55 in station 2, 65 in station 3, and the rest, which is 170 minus 50 minus 65, which is 55 in station 1. 55, 50, and 65. 200, 150, 1. We do have the throughput, we do have inventory, flow time is equal to inventory divided by throughput. Flow time is equal to inventory divided by throughput. Flow time is equal to inventory divided by throughput. All of these numbers, this one, and this one and this one are in terms of hours. Why? Because this 200 is in terms of hours. Now we can either divide this 200 to 60 at the beginning and get throughput per minute or at the end we can go here and multiply them by 60 to transform hour into minute. Let's do a little Excel. So I have product A equal to 70 and lock it. Enter, copy it down, copy it down, copy it down. Now we add up equal to summation of and then we copy it down. 
inventories are here. Flow time is equal to inventory divided by throughput. Enter, copy down. But these numbers are in terms of hours. Multiply them by 60, you will get in terms of minutes. So now you have flow time in the station one, flow time in the station two, flow time in the station three. Let's compute flow time for product A, product B, and product C. I come here time product A, product B, product C, station one, station two, station three. I know product A goes through station one. It also goes through station two. Product B goes through station one. It also goes through station three. Product C goes through all three stations. So this is summation of product A in station 1 and 2. This is summation for product B in station 1 and 3 and this is summation for product C in all three stations. Therefore, this is flow time for those three products. Suppose we want to compute the flow time for a prototype product which is combination of all of them it is quite simple total inventory inside the system 170 total throughput 200 that is the flow time for a prototype product if i multiply it by 60 that would be in minutes now i want to use this number and make sure that these computations and these computations are correct. What I will do, I come here and compute percentage of product A compared to all products equal to 70 divided by 200, which is summation of all products, and lock it. Enter, copy to the right, 35%, 25%, 40%, and summation, of course, is 100%. So that is the percentages of the product. This is the time they take. These numbers are correct because I simply divided each of these by 200. So they are correct unless I have forgotten to lock it. And if I have forgotten to lock it, this summation doesn't come out equal to one. So I'm correct over there. But why no, I want to know if these numbers and these numbers are correct. If those are correct, if I come here and if I type equal to some product, and if I multiply these times, by these percentages, summation should come out 51, if I have not made a mistake. Let us finish this discussion by wishing Dr. John Liddell a long life. Dr. John Liddell was the person who developed this formula 50, more than 50 years ago. And thank you very much for attending this session.